It's all just so cute. I just can't get over everything I'm looking at. Just look at their little habitats and the tiny little plants that they even have. Just imagine maybe those are some sort of variety of succulent or or perhaps a sort of a little rock bud plant. Oh gosh, I just, I could have way too much fun with this. But hello everyone and welcome back to Dragonvale World. And I think I might be a teensy tiny bit addicted. Just enough that we are definitely going to be carrying forward as we continue growing up our lead of adorable dragons and they are actually growing wildfire who is my favorite dragon has actually grown to level nine holy cannolis feeding this hungry dragon is a work and a half because this guy wants 1224 food a toss now i can't even imagine is that like just wagon full full wagons wagons full of absolutely um, huge amounts of fruit it is so hard to feed him but he is bringing in a lot more money now and we have actually leveled up and i even came in and bought one of the special little sails just this once so that we could actually grow some of our dragons together so what's changed since you guys last joined me well i managed to get the arctic dragon i don't think you guys actually got to see the arctic dragon and it's so cute i need some fantastic dragon names how about oh i know i know okay alphon or like a little little alpha louise <laughs> i think i'm just gonna rename this little one uh alphon so there we go so alphon you go ahead and you stay right here and i'm going to tell everybody how they can name all of your siblings but all right so here's my plan guys there are different habitats for each dragon so we have the jungle habitat the lava habitat or fire we've got the earth habitat we have got the ice habitat so how about you guys give me names that could go along with those different habitats and then i will be able to draw from the name list that you guys come up with because we have got more babies on the way and so many different types Types of dragons that I could actually add in. I cannot believe this. Venom, Thermal, Oasis, Cinder, Fur, Alpine. But what really got me excited, guys, is when I wiggled down to the levels that we haven't unlocked yet, and I saw there's a fern dragon and a tropical dragon. Oh my gosh. I definitely want those. And is it just my imagination, or does that reef dragon kind of look a little bit like a giraffe if you squint your like squint your eyes really hard? Look past the the big giant you know lock and it almost looks like a little giraffe so i'm kind of in love with that one there's fossil dragons dune dragons fox glow dragons I, who knows there's a glade dragon what oh my gosh yeah we're gonna have way too much fun a gossamer dragon a tumbleweed dragon just the ideas and the names that we could come up with these guys i am so excited to share them with you so all right Oh, uh, let's see. What else has changed? Oh, yeah. I managed. We sorry about that. I managed to go ahead and to set up the airship. So I sent one airship away already and it has already returned. But the way it works, guys, is we send our dragons into the wilds to collect up all of these special items. Then we fill up the order that the items have and we get to open up this chest. And you get so many random things when you open up the chest from food to gemstones to coins to some of the very special breeding crystals and breeding crystals are used over here in the breeding cave and now we have another new egg yay but they are used over here in the breeding cave so that you will be able to go ahead and you will be able to get an enchanted dragon. So I have 420 breeding crystal pieces now because of that amazing airship trade. So that was really cool. And look at them like just spin around. This is very cool. This is so cool. This is so engaging. I am just getting so many ideas for so many of our different series. I love it. And as always, if you guys are coming up with ideas for our various series for zoo crafting or any like dog saga, like dog saga <laughs> for cloud quest, wolf rescue, uh, then definitely or cloud sagas, wolf rescue that it's got so many names. You guys know what I'm talking about with Tibby, our skeleton wolf. If you have got some really cool names or ideas from this series uh, for any other series, then just let me know because I love drawing inspiration from everything in life. Also, this little witch has a cool present for me. 
Nice! She just gave me 500 smacks for like almost nothing. Who knows why she gave me all that money. Uh, Alright, but let's go ahead and today we are going to start off by cracking open this adorable egg. So this is a brand new type of egg. I have never seen what's inside. It's a- <gasps> It's the Alpine Dragon! Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Look at her! Oh no, she's so precious. She has definitely got a name to twist your tongue, but we just unlocked the Alpine Dragon. She's so beautiful. Oh wow. Let's come over and take a good look at her. Look at her. So what is her information? Let's go ahead and look that up. It's not easy to spot the Alpine Dragon out in the wild. It blends so well into the surrounding foliage of the Silver Falls Gorge, most wizards assume this dragon is just another bush. Imagine their surprise when the bush nuggle nuzzles them in search of snacks. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, let's go ahead. No, I don't want to I don't want to try to like look at her story. I want to feed her. She must be hungry. She just hatched out of her adorable little egg. Here you go. Have some food. It's a whole bunch of fruit. Like all of a sudden bored and just I'm um, tossing the fruit straight in your face. Oh, she's so pretty. Look how cute she is. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> Here, have more food. That was literally all of the food I had. But I have actually also been working on upgrading some of the different habitats. You have to wait till you hit certain levels to upgrade them. And I cannot wait until I can upgrade the snackery soon so that I can get more food faster. But let's go ahead and actually plant some food while we're here. And uh, let's see what else we can do today because I have been sitting on top of all of these gemstones that I got specifically so that we could really, really start to see what is waiting for us in the world. So let's see what is going on with our gatherer. Look at that! Fantastic! Look at all of those those fire rocks. That's so cool. That was actually from our enchanted little flytrap guy who's currently named Emesh, but I feel like he needs a much cooler name than that. He needs like a really special name to sort of designate. Oh, we can have him little. Ah, I can have him rotate so I can have even cuter pictures. Ah! <laughs> Though to be honest, making Emesh look pretty cute is a little bit of a pinch. But he is actually the flytrap dragon, so I would love to kind up with some really cool names that he could possibly use. He's our only enchanted dragon and he is very good at going out into the wilds and gathering things up. So now if we come over to our airship, we can actually load up dun, 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 all of these lava orbs. Look at that. So we can do that, but we need to get some fire sand. We need five pieces of fire sand before we are able to finish off this order. So let's go ahead and go gathering because I want to show you guys how this looks because it's really cool. And now we're going to have our magma dragon ember come over and we need to have, and it'll tell you right here, we need five pieces for the expedition. Uh, oh, and ember needs more food before, oh, okay, ember, hang on. I'm going to go ahead and, and we're going to feed ember first. <laughs> before we go ahead and uh, have Ember go on an expedition so that we can get as many materials as possible. But how are we going to feed Ember? Well, guys, that's where filling up my treats comes in. Look at this, 19,000 treats for 50 of these gemstones. Oh, that's such a sacrifice of our gems. But I really want to show you guys some of the stuff we can do today. So, I, I mean, and my snackery is going to take forever and a day to be able to upgrade, I swear. So let's go ahead and feed Ember up again. I have so much food now. I am rich in gemstones. I must be like a really, really rich witch or something. And let's go ahead and get Ember maybe to level nine as well. Uh, so that Ember can go ahead and just grow. There we go. Oh, the sensational spring. Spring has reached the surface, but you need to be at level 18 to meet the magnificent Zen dragons. I want to get to level 18. That would be fantastic. Here you go, Magma. There you go. Oh, Ember. <laughs> You're looking a little bit fiercer now. Definitely looking a little bit fiercer now. And you still need so much food. <gasps> We're level 10. We're level 10. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. We can go to Silver Falls Gorge now. <gasps> look at the reef dragons. Oh my gosh. And this Rami dragon looks like a little oxalotl. And look at the polar dragon. I'm just so much 
beautiful creative design. I can really appreciate this of being from a family of artists and surrounded by art all the time. I am just so feeling all of these creative designs. <gasps> Look at the tropical dragon. Oh my goodness. And the shore dragon and we have the burn dragon. Okay, I need that burn dragon in my life. Oh my gosh, look at everybody. Look at the fossil dragon, that is so cute. And now we can build a water habitat. We can upgrade the snackery. We can upgrade the airship. We can, oh, we can buy a blossoming tree. I'm always a big fan of that. We can gather up ashen orbs from Silver Falls Gorge. We can build a gazebo, a water path, a warbling waterfall, a fount of Funtuna, water walls. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Oh, it's like a palm tree that somebody just knocked right over. Over. That's actually really cute. I love it. All right. Well, we can do some really important things now that we have leveled up, including going ahead and let's look at this really quickly. So my dragon snaps will give me seven fruit foods for my dragons right now. If I upgrade the snackery, please give me more food. Feeding these guys is nigh impossible. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to spend some gemstones to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and spend another 50 gemstones, which is so hard to do. Oh my gosh, that is just going to make me like panic, but we need tons and tons and tons of money. Let's go ahead and upgrade the snackery. And there it goes. So the snackery has just been upgraded. We got back a little bit of the coins and we got a ton of food. And does that mean I can feed more? Now we get 10 whole. Oh. Now we get 10 whole pieces. When can I upgrade the snackery again? Level 15. Okay, so you definitely want to try to plan, you guys, on being able to feed your dragons enough. It might be kind of a slow build up at first because until you can really start unlocking areas and building areas and getting your dragons up and breeding and having a lot of money, it really is kind of tricky to get moving, but we'll get there. All right, let's see what else. Hatch one water dragon in order to go ahead and complete this quest. Uh, we also need to hatch a thermal dragon and we need to cast a fire breath spell on any dragon. So, hmm. We also need to expand uh, the trading post. We need to do some things, build some decorations. We've got so many things to do and now we want to build a water habitat. So is there room for a water habitat where we're at? Ooh, and I forgot we could build the spirit habitat, but I haven't seen any, um, I haven't seen any hints or tips or anything for the little spirit dragons. And I kind of want to put them like right up here next to the, this breeding spot, or at least over here. Okay. Let's put them right here. Watch out everybody down below. We'll go ahead and speed up the water area. Fantastic. Normally, I don't recommend speeding things up, but we're doing it because I want to share it with you guys. And then let's go to the market and buy ourselves an adorable little water dragon. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, and we can now upgrade the hatchery as well. So, hmm, I might look into that in just a minute too. Oh, okay. We're going to go ahead and speed up the water dragon just this once. Hello, Hermes. What a name and what a cute face you have. Oh my gosh. Look at you, buddy. There we go. We have a brand new water dragon. Hi, buddy. You're so cute. Let's go ahead and feed him up to level four right away so that if we need to breed him, we can. He's just like a little newt. Ah, he's so cute. Look at him. What can we learn about him? There's nothing more relaxing than watching a water dragon swimming happily around its habitat, except for maybe being a water dragon swimming happily around your habitat. That is so cute. I really like him. He just is... He's so adorable. Look at his tiny little body. I thought he was going to be longer than that. Oh my gosh. Doesn't he look literally like something from our Spore Let's Plays? He looks like he crawled straight out of the tide pool. This is adorable. All right. Well, now we have hatched a water dragon uh, and completed that quest, I believe. Let's come over here to our goals. Uh, and now he wants us to get a geyser dragon. And we also need to cast fire breath spell on any dragon. So we've done a lot today. Oh, and I almost forgot, almost forgot we were upgrading Ember. I remember now, or excuse me, we were feeding Ember. So Ember would be able to come over here 
And we're going to have Ember go ahead and we're going to spend a ton of money. It costs a lot of money to go on these expeditions. We're going to rush it just this one time. Uh, which normally I don't recommend because it's really hard to like spend all of that money. Ah, uh, gosh, but I want to show you guys things. So let's board the ship. And now we can actually go ahead and fill the order on the fire sand. So there we go. And you get a lot of money back when you fill the order. So hopefully it's enough to make up for the fact you spent money sending your dragon out to Rome. And now we can actually go ahead and cast off our airship which means we can open up the chest. And this is what happens. So now we have eight flips. We get to flip eight of these cards and get whatever treasures are hiding underneath. There are rare reward rewards like the gemstones and the crystal pieces, and there's also food or just money. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's some of the, the crystal pieces. There's more money. There's some experience. There's more money. There's more of the enchanted pieces, and there's more of the enchanted pieces. I get one more flip, and food. <laughs> All right, so then it will tell you what had been available and how much you got of it. So we actually got a high amount of the enchanted pieces, so I should be able to make an enchanted dragon before too long. But now the airship is off, off, and away again, and it will return in seven hours. And the next airship is actually going to require fire sand and these gemstone pieces. So some of the new stuff that we actually just unlocked. So why don't we see if we can send our little Arctic dragon, or actually I believe, Alphon, are you, what are you again? Are you just like, okay, you're the frozen dragon. And then uh, this adorable little one, I kind of want to name, what do I want to name her? I kind of want to name her like Poinsettia. Uh, point, well, let's name her, I kind of like Pawnee. I kind of like Pawnee. <laughs> she just looks so adorable and she reminds me kind of like a Poinsettia. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we will send our Frost Dragon out to gather some new things from the gorge. So it looks like we need frozen vines and icy soil in order to go and get more of those pieces. Oh no, and we only have an alpine dragon. I don't have a dragon that can gather icy soil. All right, I know what we're breeding then. And we will go ahead and have her collect up for all the money. Oh my gosh, this is like so expensive. How do you afford anything without gemstones? We're gonna find out. We're gonna get our dragons really high levels and we are going to find out how you can afford things. <laughs> Cause I sure as heck don't know, probably by going a lot slower than I'm going. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here, collect up more, collect up more. All right, well, I guess that's obvious of one of the things we need to breed next. So let's go ahead and we are actually going to grab our frozen dragon and our earth dragon and we're going to breed them and then we're going to have a new dragon in eight hours oh my goodness i bet it's going to be a very rare kind of dragon but all right we have done a lot today <laughs> i feel like we have definitely blown through my gemstones and blown through my money quite quickly <laughs> But I'm hoping it was all to a good cause. We have upgraded a few things. I have sent out one of the airships and oh, somebody has written me a letter. What is this about? Let's see, a new letter, a tasty tip. A tip from one curator of cuisine to another. You can upgrade the snackery to increase the volume of food you're able to produce in farm plots. Think of all the succulent treats you can grow. Just tap the upgrade icon in the snackery when you're ready to take your culinary game to the next level. I'm still the surface's top chef, of course, but you'll stand closer to second place. Tastefully, Sebastian. Interesting. All right, yes, and I have definitely upgraded that already. I would love to upgrade him more, Sebastian, to be completely like a blunt with you. Just like, you know, laying that out there. I would love to grow a lot more food than we're currently growing. And I would really, really love if somehow, you know, you and I could maybe work together. Here, we'll plant these to make it cheaper. <laughs> I have no idea how you're supposed to be able to like get all the coins. I guess check in on your dragons like all day long and collect the coins. But gosh darn, I am just a slow, a slow person with it, I suppose. But alright, we have a lot more to explore. We have a lot more dragons to find. We have a lot more work to do, basically. And I think we've been going super duper fast. 
But as time goes on, we'll be able to start unlocking new areas. We'll be able to start going ahead and putting down decorations. So next time we'll spend some more time with our dragons and we will spend some more time following up on the quest and the goals. And uh, we might even go ahead and possibly unlock the epic breeding island. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, I will see you all next time. I hope you are enjoying our adorable dragons. And I cannot wait to see what our earth dragon and our frost dragon are going to have for us when we come back. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.